All right, guys. So, hello. Um, this is Jackie, and I uh, hope you guys are having a great day. Hope you guys have a <clears throat> chill weekend. Uh, I have a very busy weekend. Or, active. Trying to replace some words here. Um, but, just going to be posting a video of my actual futuristic February results with, like, more specifics on them and everything, and, like, some things that I'm already starting to work on to be better about it for minimizing March, which I'm very excited about, and I'm really hoping I actually make a dent in my <laughs> trash, because I don't even accumulate too much trash as the average person. Like, I barely ever go shopping, and we, my husband and I shop at a grocery store that is a co-op, it's a bulk store, so they have a lot of stuff that they sell in bulk. We can bring our own glass jars, sometimes I bring, like, plastic bags that I've gotten something else in, and I've been like, you know, like, why can't I reuse this? Like, they're not going to care, as long as it's got the PLU on it, whatever. So I'm very excited to post this video about some of the specifics. Um, but now, these aren't 100% accurate results. There's been a couple things that I've accidentally thrown out just compulsively thinking, like how I used to just be like, oh, done, 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 and... So I will mention if there is something that I should have X amount more of, um, but I'm very excited. So I'm going to start off with some of my art supplies. Now I paint somewhat frequently, but my art supplies, I've only opened two new canvases this month. So I have the plastic from two and the like little labels from two. Um, I also have plastic from my loaves of bread, um, my laundry detergent little plastic bags. Um, I'm actually going to start thinking about using drops to eliminate this and eliminate the plastic from my laundry detergent as well because drops come in a compostable box and they're pretty much like the t same tab or a little like tab situation but there's no plastic bag, there's no plastic wrapper, there's no plastic nonsense. It's just the drops in the box and that's it. So I'm thinking about doing that. Um, which I'm excited about. Um, I love cereal, so I have two boxes of cereal. Um, now, my hair dryer broke this month. Literally, like, smoke coming out of the back of the hair dryer. So, it was, um, it was impressive. I didn't see flames, which actually kind of bummed me out, because I think fire is kind of fun. But, um, yeah, so my hair dryer broke. I had this Hello Kitty hair dryer for probably like six years. So, like, it's been a long time coming for this thing to die. I'm surprised it lasted this long. Still have my Hello Kitty toaster right there. Right there. That thing got it the same year, still kicking. But, um, I had to get a new hair dryer. Thankfully, I found one that, um, is pretty small. I didn't get some big heavy duty one. I have long hair, but I'm fine with taking the extra time to blow dry my hair properly. So, I got a hair dryer that was tiny, travel size, came in like a little like travel kit bag that you could zip. So this little like, I don't know what the hell this is, like some kind of protective thing to go around it. And then this along with the receipt, which is in the thing as a, gear, as a warranty. These are the only two products of trash that came out of the um, situation of buying a hair dryer. Now this hair dryer was pretty expensive but I really like it and it only takes me probably like 25 minutes to blow dry my hair and I have really long hair, like I have pretty long hair and I have a lot of hair. <laughs> so that definitely makes it take even longer. Um, I have a rib that likes to slip out of place every now and then, which is great. So I can't wear tight, tight, tight bras very often, if ever, because it hurts my rib and then I have to go to the chiropractor and have them realign my back and I'm too lazy. So, Gary has uh, some really good bralettes. I used to go to Victoria's Secret, but they really have no options for bralettes anymore. They have no pad, no wire, no nothing. I just want the damn bra. Just give me the fabric. That's all I need. I don't have a big chest. I'm not loaded with boobs, so it's fine. Um, just going to bring the camera a little closer for you guys. Now, right about here, these are all of my cans that I use for drinks. I, you're not going to see any plastic bottles because I legit won't buy something in a plastic bottle unless it is utterly important. Like if I'm nauseous from dehydration, I will not buy a plastic bottle. And I've proven this time and time again. 
Um, I also have like a little collection of napkins. This little area, I kind of just left it. I don't know what the heck is going on here. I don't know, like, it's just a bunch of stuff. This is from our milk. This is the only thing that gets thrown out when I buy milk. Because it, I get it in a glass jar, um, like a big glass container. I don't buy milk in the, like, typical carton. It says recyclable, but bitch, please. Where the fuck are you going to recycle that? Excuse my language, but at the same time, no. Um... I work at Starbucks, so a lot of my trash actually comes from Starbucks, which sucks, because <laughs> now I'm going to start bringing food to work if I want to eliminate that, like literally, like all of these, all of these are just the little plastic bags they wrap their pastries in, not to hate on Starbucks, but at the same time, they're not a very eco-friendly company, I mean their plastic cups, excuse me, are made the plastic on the bottom says number five. Number five is a very toxic plastic. It's not really a very recyclable plastic, I don't think. Um, if any of you guys follow me on Instagram, this is the little container with the spoon that I got when I went to Liza's. I wanted to get a drink and they wouldn't let me use my cup. So, cause they, it was for a reason. They said they didn't have a sanitation sink to clean the cup in or something. So they couldn't reuse my cup. So I was like, okay, thank you. I'll just get the acai bowl. I didn't I didn't get a drink that day, which really sucked because I was thirsty. Um, I also like to get um, avocado spread from Starbucks or cream cheese because I'm vegetarian, so I eat a lot of bagels, and I'm just trying to cut down on how much sugar I eat while I'm there because that's not healthy for me. So a lot of these plastic packagings are all bagels. <laughs> like, a lot of them are bagels. But I have about probably, I'm trying to see, I have probably about like this many avocados and like cream cheeses and sometimes I would just get an everything bagel with nothing to kind of cut that plastic out because the everything bagel is the only one that isn't dry AF and like needing the cream cheese, at least for me. They're not dry bagels, they're actually really good, but like sprouted grain, I wouldn't eat that without avocado or something because that's just too dry. Um, Right here, I have a lot of my wrappers from uh, any granola bars. I like to eat these sometimes when I need something quick on the go that has a lot of protein. Um, this one, I was just feeling fat. <laughs> I love these perfect bars. They have these at Starbucks too. These are amazing. I freaking love them so much. But it'd be great if they had a um, better packaging situation with them. Um, outside of that, I have three pizza boxes just for myself. Now, this isn't a full-size pizza. This is if you go to Mix down the street or Pops or something, and you get two slices of pizza, like, they give it to you in that box. So I didn't eat three whole pizzas myself, even though I, I easily could. I easily could. If I wanted to go out to eat more often, I easily could eat three whole pizzas in a month. That's not even a problem. I could probably eat three whole pizzas in two days. Um, oh, there's my cat. She's waiting for me to let her bet these receipts all over the house, like she was last night. Yeah. You're such a little jerk off. Yeah, you're cute now. You're a jerk to everyone else except me and your dad. These are all of my receipts. Just kind of like a collection of my receipts. Um, any receipt that I've had, like when I went to Aerie to get some of my bras, when I went to Petco to get dog food, um, when I went to Lush to get my face routine um, or any skincare. Um, I like to go to Lush to get my skincare routine because I do have rosacea. It's a very mild case, but I hate wearing makeup. I can't do it. I don't know how to apply it. I feel like I just have hands over my face, and I wish that I knew, and I wish that I could because I feel like my skin complexion would be a little more even. You wouldn't see these bad boys all the time, but, you know, it's whatever at this point. Um, I have two of these that have the little, like, windows. Um, in them. This one, I think out of everything, this is my most selfish act of the entire February. I wanted Cider Belly Donuts from the co-op and usually they have paper bags that don't have these stupid windows in them and they didn't. And usually I would be like, oh well no donuts for me and then I would just leave. But this time I was like, no I want a damn donuts. So I got four of them and I ate all of them in 24 hours and they were delicious. But yeah, that was probably my most selfish act. Usually I would be like, oh, well, I'm not going to get it. That time I did. Um, and then my husband and I like to get these. Um, 
non peat we get like non every now and then and well, actually it's a staple in our house now but um we like to make non pizzas on them it's just a really quick easy way to make non pizzas and then one day my husband went to paula's donuts for me it's upside down paula's donuts for me in buffalo um when he was doing a training in rochester and got me a half a dozen donuts which were delicious so that's pretty much like all of the trash I've collected throughout the month. Um, the few things that I've missed out, um, I need to add five more of these to my pile because I accidentally threw them in the trash. I probably need to add at least two more avocados and one cream cheese just because like I would just be like, oh, I have 10 minutes, I'm starving, I need to eat now. So I just make it, throw it in the trash and move on. And then I'd be like, I forgot. So, um, <clears throat> that would be the addition of that stuff. Um, and I also had to include, I went to a baby shower for, um, one of my friends, Caitlin. Um, it was a very nice baby shower. It was so cute. Oh my gosh. It was so freaking cute. Um, but I had to include the party favor, which had some Hershey Kisses inside. And then I had to include the little bingo board that they gave us. And then they gave us this, like, sheet of paper where it was, like, write down, like, X amount of things about Caitlyn or, you know, distant stuff. So that's pretty much all of my trash. Um, I'm very excited to work on minimizing March. And tomorrow I'm going to post a video. Not a video. Cut that. Photo on my Instagram of, like, how I'm doing on minimizing March so far. Um, I think, honestly, the most difficult thing for me to cut back on is going to be getting food from Starbucks because I work there, I get a free food mark out whenever I have a shift, so pretty much I'm missing out 100%. And it's not something the company is going to care about probably too much just because in their mind they're going to be thinking, well, you're not really, like, we're not losing money out on you not getting your pastry. We're actually saving money on you not getting your pastry. So that's not something I really have any pull on. And I love Starbucks. I really do. They treat their employees like the best. I've had 24, 25 jobs throughout my entire life. And Starbucks is definitely one of the companies that is the best to their employees. They are the nicest to their employees. Like, I have legit benefits. Legit benefits. My pay rate, probably the best pay rate I've had in my entire life. And I'm almost 30. I turned 30 this month. Just a little tidbit. I turned 30 this month. But, um, yeah, like, the pay is great. They have good benefits. They give you as many free drinks as you want in your shift. You get 30% off almost everything. You can do 401k benefits. You have health insurance. Like, for real, it's a great company. But their environmental impact could be a little bit better. So I hope you guys liked the video. I hope it was informative. I hope I didn't rant too, too much. I know I rant a lot. Yeah, I rant a lot. But anyways, um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I am going to be posting a video at the end of March for my results for minimizing March. And hopefully, I'm sure I can... Oh, she's already messing with stuff. I'm hoping that... I'll be able to make a significant impact on how much trash I have. I counted up all the pieces. I have over 175 pieces of trash. Kaylee. Oh my gosh, she's such a pain in the ass. But anyways, I love you guys, and I hope you guys have a great weekend, and I hope you guys have been inspired, and for real, like, don't expect to be able to just go full to the moon with whatever this is, you know, like, small steps small small steps I haven't been accepting plastic bags since I was at least 16 17 years old so that's a significant amount of plastic bags that are not in the landfills are not in our oceans are not in our lakes are not in our water like it's it's a lot it makes a lot difference like that's 13 years of someone saying no thank you to a plastic bag and there's still been one or two times where people have given them to me anyways because they're just looking at me like mm. and I'm like I've literally taken crap out and put the plastic bag back on the counter. They probably threw it out right afterwards because they were pissed because people are sometimes absolutely ridiculous. But, A for effort. I can't only do so much. Like, you can only do so much. And any effort you have, any steps you can take would be absolutely appreciated by everybody. So, I love you guys and I'll talk to you later. Bye.